be useful. Thank you. Thanks, Chairman. Thanks, Senator Whitehouse. Senator Grassley. Uh, you testified before the Senate Intelligence Committee that the Richmond Field Office anti-Catholic memo was, quote, a product by one field office, end of quote. You testified before the House Judiciary Committee that the memo was, quote, a single product of a single field office, end quote. But the Richmond memo says two other field offices of the FBI were involved and that that information had been redacted in versions provided to the Congress. Why did the FBI redact that critical information and second, did you review the unredacted version before giving your previous testimony? So, Senator, I think that this notion that other field offices were involved is a, a garble. Uh, and let me explain why I, why I say that. Uh, the only involvement of the two other field offices was the Richmond authors of the product included two sentences or something or thereabouts referencing each of these other offices' cases, and they sent those sentences about the other offices' cases to them, not the whole product, and asked them, hey, did we describe your case right? That's okay. all the other offices had. So it was well, then, a single field office's product, and I stand by that. Did you review the unredacted memo before giving your previous testimony? I have reviewed the unredacted memo. Exactly when I reviewed it, I can't sit, as I sit here right now, tell you. Okay. In July of this year, I made public what's now known as the Biden family 1023 FBI document. I've also written you several letters that the same, uh, about the same, mostly recently, I think October 24th, that letter of October, said in part that the confidential human source in the Biden family, 1023, was not connected to known sources of Russian information, that confidential human source is also repeat, reportedly a high-paid, long-term, long-running FBI source that the FBI has used in many investigative matters According to former Attorney General Bill Barr, Barr said that 1023 was deemed sufficiently credible for further investigation. On May 31st of this year, Chairman Comer and I had a call with you. On that call, you told us that the Biden Family 23 is related to an ongoing, ongoing investigative matter. Now, very clearly, these data points show indicators of credibility. This uh, question for you, this FBI 1023 was serialized on June 30th, 2020, over three years ago. When were you first made aware of 1023? Well, I, I don't know that I could give you the exact date, uh, but I can tell you that um, that I learned of the 1023 much, much, much more recently than anything around uh, 2020, that's for sure. Uh, this is a public document. You have an obligation to uh, tell this uh, committee what you knew about it, when you knew about it, and if you can't give us that information, I guess I better go on. Are there additional FBI-generated 1023s that reference a bribery scheme involving the Biden family, and if so, how many and what are their dates? Well, uh, Senator, now you're asking questions that relate directly to Special Counsel Weiss's ongoing investigation, and uh, respectfully, I, I can't really discuss anything related to that investigation. I would refer you to him for that. The 1023 references alleged text, financial records, and audio tapes that prove uh, some sort of scheme involving money with uh, uh, Biden people. These are discrete documents that can be obtained if they exist when a high-paid, long-used federal confidential human source provides the FD, FBI with evidence that three types, different types of records exist that prove a crime involving a political official, then standard FBI practice 
is to take steps to obtain the, that evidence. Would you agree with, with that, what I've said so far about the FBI policy? And if not, why not? Well, certainly I would expect people to do appropriate follow-up on anything in a 1023, but obviously every one of those instances is very fact-specific and case-specific, so, case-dependent. Okay, that answer is okay. So then, based upon what you just told me, did the FBI seek these records in this matter? Well, let me separate into two different things here. When it comes to uh, the investigation uh, being led by Special Counsel Weiss, uh, which is being supported by our Baltimore field office. That one I'm not going to be able to discuss because it's an ongoing investigation. When it comes to the uh, assessment that occurred um, in being run out of uh, the office of uh, our field office in Pittsburgh and the U.S. Attorney, Mr. Brady, uh, as selected by Attorney General Barr to look at all of this um, back, back in the earlier period you're talking about, my understanding is that there was agreement among the, the team uh, the, about what steps needed to be taken and with the closing of that assessment. Have you communicated with White House officials or used a third party to do so about anything relating to the 1023 as it involves uh, people in the Biden family? And if so, who and when? No. I want to go to sexual misconduct uh, by the FBI. On October the 5th, 2022, I sent you a letter and later made FBI records public that showed widespread sexual misconduct in FBI against female. The data also showed that hundreds of FBI personnel retired to avoid discipline and that senior high-level officials received reduced uh, punishment if any at all. On October the 6th, the FBI told the Associated Press that it intended to respond to me first and declined uh, to provide sexual misconduct data to the press at that time. It's over one year later and the FBI has failed to provide this data to me. The FBI's blatant lack of action indicates it isn't taking misconduct against women in the workplace seriously. Why has the FBI failed to provide that very important data to this committee? Uh, and, and when will it finally be produced, as you told the, or the FBI told the Associated Press you were going to? Well, first let me say I could not disagree more strongly that we don't take it seriously. I can tell you I take misconduct, sexual misconduct, against our own employees extremely seriously, and we've put in place all sorts of new procedures and policies to deal with that and to communicate in no uncertain terms how strongly I feel about that. As to the responsiveness to your letter, let me follow up with my team and find out where that stands, uh, but I do want to make sure uh, that there's not any confusion, none, about how seriously I take this topic. Okay, then where's the data, if that's what you're going to be willing to take it so seriously? I will follow ahead? up. I will follow up with you uh, about your letter. Okay. Thank you, Senator Grassley. Senator Klobuchar. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chair. Thank you so much. Uh